sa sa ako mga silingan sa mga uh, kapitbahay po namin sa Mindanao uh, mayang hapon kaninyong tanan and of course welcome to your senate of course mr president we also would like to welcome our uh, basketball idol who is uh, also here with us and uh, i know we are all excited to vote for uh, third reading later on uh, we have with us justin brownlee mr president who is here at the gallery oh there um, he is our good friend uh, basketball uh, icon justin yes. brownlee welcome to your future senate as you'll be a member of a uh, citizen of this republic mr president our world champion from the great university of santo tomas Jetro Dionisio is also here, Mr. President. Ah, oh, like yes. Welcome him. I almost didn't recognize him. He has uh, white hair now. Yes, uh, idol ko yan. I was in uh, college when he was uh, champion already. Was, uh, Ganon talaga mga taga USD, Mr. President. Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, um, at this juncture, I move that we proceed with the reference of business. Yes, there being no objection to the motion. Secretary, please proceed. Now on the... Um, um, consideration, Mr. President, on third reading. Uh, and so with the uh, approval of the body, I move to consider on third reading House Bill number 6224. Copies of the bill were electronically distributed to the members on December 6, 2022 in compliance with the three-day rule under our Constitution. I so move, Mr. President. There be no objection to the motion of the Majority Floor Leader. Motion is approved. We we'll now ask the secretary to read the title of the measure and proceed with the roll call vote. With 21 affirmative votes, no negative votes, no abstentions, House Bill number 6224, granting Filipino citizenship to Justin Donta Brownlee, is hereby approved on third and final reading. Congratulations. Mr. President, we congratulate our uh, dear idol. And this has been uh, everyone's dream. Uh, Filipinos, uh, Filipino basketball fans dream uh, to see Justin Brownlee to wear our uh, Philippine jersey. I am excited to see what the future holds for Mr. Brownlee as a citizen of this country. He will also be a reserve officer in the Philippine Army, Mr. President. I am certain that he will be a great addition to this great republic. Malugod ko pong binabati si Ginoong Justin Brownlee sa panibagong yugto ng kanyang buhay bilang isang ganap na Pilipino. Naway iyong isabuhay ang pagkapilipino sa isip, sa salita, at sa gawa. Mabuhay ka, Justin. Thank you, Mr. President. And may I have the honor as the Chairman of the Committee on Justice and Human Rights to give him the first Filipino flag that he will be unfurling and be part of his living room for the rest of his life. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, sa tulong, no? for uh, prioritizing this measure with Justin Brownlee on our side. We can bolster our chances in various international competitions. Kasama na dyan ang FIBA 2023 na isa po tayo sa mga host at stake po dito ang ating uh, bayan. Sana po ay uh, pumasok tayo sa final uh, eight at manalo. To Mr. Brownlee, naway patuloy mong isa puso ang pagiging isang Pilipino. Mahalin mo ang Pilipinas, isa puso ang tungkulin ng bawat mamamayang Pilipino na magsilbi sa bayan at unahin ang interes ng uh, Pilipinas. Mabuhay ka, Mr. Justin Brownlee. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, our distinguished colleague, Senator Go. Mr. President, time is running out. The game, or shall we say, the future of Philippine basketball is on the line. And this chamber has the opportunity to take the winning shot. Do we take our chance at glory or do we pass? I say we go all in, Mr. President. Never say die. Today, we profess our unwavering support to naturalize Mr. Justin Brownlee. Teams drop and trade for players to improve their chances of winning. The addition of Justin in the Philippine team is not only a win for our basketball program, but a win for our nation. A great defender, reliable perimeter shooter, clutch player, and a crowd favorite is added to our team. But most importantly, a good person is added to our citizenry. Justin may have, may have hailed from Georgia, USA, 
but would later on become known to be one of the most loved residents of the most popular barangay in the Philippines, Barangay Hinebra. A polite, mild-mannered teammate will now be a fellow Filipino. We are the best basketball fans in the planet, the most passionate. There is a saying in the world of sports, game recognizes game. Usually, this pertains to high praises and respect of player towards another. The Filipino people acknowledge the accomplishments and honor he has brought to his barangay. Now, he will be doing it for the whole country. This humble representation believes that more wins in the international basketball scene are coming our way. However, even before a single game is played by Justin wearing our country's colors, he has already won in life, and so have we in him. He bowed to use his stature and influence to further our advocacy against illegal drugs, the real MVP, true and true. Thank you, Senator Tolentino. You should be awarded as best team man general manager for making all this happen. I will never think twice of giving you an assist. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mr. Uh, President, I, I will move for a minute suspension so that we can... Uh, Before you do that, I'd just like to uh, just manifest your honor to uh, Mr. Brownlee. Mr. Brownlee, I also had the opportunity, your honor, of having to sponsor Marcus Dalfit uh, in several Congresses past. And uh, it was an honor for me to be able to have him naturalized to play for the Philippines. But you're being given a chance today. It's very difficult to become a Filipino citizen. Senator Coco knows that, being a top lawyer. There's only two ways to do it. One through legislation, the other through the judicial process, which can take several, several years. Your citizenship was given to you in a very uh, quick manner because of the need to have a very good player with the Philippine team. But you are being given the responsibility, sir, of having full civil and political rights as a Filipino. Please put that in heart. Because not only can you play for the Philippine team, but you can also even elect leaders in the future who are good for the country because we are giving you full civil and political rights. All we ask, Mr. Brownlee, is for you to play your heart and soul for our country. You are now an adopted Filipino and you will be loved as a Filipino by each and every one of us. And hopefully you'll be able to promote our country all over the world. I'll give an example. Miss Frank here, she's Filipino-American, but wherever she goes to play for, to, to, to ride her skates, she carries with her the Philippine flag proudly. And we hope that wherever you go as well, Mr. Brownlee, you now have the hopes, dreams, and aspiration of every Filipino, especially every basketball-loving Filipino. So I wanted to put that on record and congratulate you personally. With that, we ask for a minute suspension so that I can ask my colleagues, maybe they can approach the podium up here with Mr. Brownlee and we can have a photo opportunity with him here in the Senate. Session suspended for one minute. At po ng newsflash video ay makikita sa aking newsflash playlist. Sa mga gusto naman po ng mga biblical topics, punta po kayo sa aking channel na Mahafri TV. Para sa mga gustong mag-order ng Firmax Firmang and Lifting Cream and Immune System Booster, contact Mr. Dante Mariviles on Facebook. Cell phone number 0908655357.